Have you had disagreements that made you and your partner to part ways momentarily? Have you missed the former relationship you had before? Have you had an issue with someone and is praying that God restores you both? Be encouraged. Our God is a God of restoration. We were cut off from him, but he went all the way to bring us back. God values relationship. He knows we need relationship and wants relationships to last and endure together. You may have gone separate ways with your partner, but have been unable to move on, to make progress, and you know God is not pleased with the breakup, and you want Him to bring you people back. He would show signs that you people would be back again. Let's together check some of those signs. You must understand that relationship have its turns. There must be testing and trying moments. We are both different people, but want to forge a path together. And once in a while, we may disagree on certain things which might sometimes be strong and sharp, and we decide to give each other space for a while. Once in a while, even the teeth bit the tongue. Sign that there must be moments of disagreement, but what is important is knowing whether the relationship from beginning was approved by God. If it was approved by God from the onset, then no matter the disagreement, no matter the strives, He would bring us back. He enjoys it when we are united together, because together we achieve and make greater progress. He would bring back that person that left and heal the wound. He would make the love as delightful and enjoyable as when you started. Acts 15, 36, 41. 36. After some time, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go back and visit the brothers and sisters, believers in every city where we preach the message of the Lord, and see how they are doing. 37. Now Barnabas wanted to take his cousin, John, who was called Mark, along with them. 38. But Paul kept insisting that they should not take along with them the one who had quit and deserted them in Pamphylia, and had not gone on with them to the work. 39. And it became such a sharp disagreement that they separated from one another. And Barnabas took John, Mark, with him and sailed away to Cyprus. 40. But Paul chose Silas, who was again in Antioch, and set out on his second journey, commended by the brothers to the grace and favor of the Lord. 41. And he traveled through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. From this account, there is something unique we can learn. Some relationship becomes best when you both walk away. Paul and Barnabas had a sharp disagreement, and it resulted in them going separate ways. But the result was everyone making progress and winning souls for Christ. But it was not always like that. Get this message clear. Not all relationship is meant to last forever, and not all relationship are meant to be short-lived. The relationship we have with God is a clear example of a relationship that is meant to last forever. When we sin and come short of His glory, that turns His face from us because He is too holy to inhabit sin. But when we acknowledge our sins and seek for His mercy, He welcomes us back to Himself and that relationship that was broken or ended is brought to life again. It is therefore important for us to know those relationship God wants us to endure together and keep pushing it together because of what He has planned that we would achieve together. When we both started a relationship on the approval of God, it was clear that our future is forged together. Our purpose is aligned. Our destiny is matched together. Our tomorrow is best together then know that once in a while we would have different views on how we think the next thing should be done. And because of our strong belief and desire for success, we might see the other person's view as wrong and wouldn't want to accept that. It might be so strong that we just turn our back on each other. 
But remember that this relationship was approved by God. What are signs that we would see that would make us know God wants to bring that person back to our life? Number one, you keep seeing them in your prayers. Number two, answers to your needs are still tied to them. Number three, they want to come back. Number four, there is peace and satisfaction when you hear from them. Number one, you keep seeing them in your prayers. When God wants to lead men back to your life after you must have had disagreements with them and parted ways, He would keep bringing their picture or face to you as you pray. He would keep bringing them up to your heart so that you would seek His guidance on how to go about reconciliation and be united. When God brings two people together and have predestined they have a future together, but along the line and as time progress, you both have challenges and break up. He planned the union together, and when you call upon Him for mercy and restoration, He would bring up images of both of you on the mind of both of you, so that the restoration and reuniting process can begin. It would keep coming. It would be steady. Your heart would not have peace. You would want to reach to them again, and you would want to hear from them again. It is God who is carrying out His work. It is God who is doing the job. He wants to reunite you people again. He wants to bring that person back to your life, and the peace won't be there again. Your thought would be consumed with the thought to reach out again. Don't hold back. Keep praying on the matter, and don't lock yourself up. Be open to the Spirit of God and do the background work. Many times He wants to do a quick fix, but we lock up our hearts for Him to do His work. Don't relent in praying, since it is clear God brought you two together and wants you, people, to still be back again. Keep on praying, be open and yielded, and don't hold back again. It would work out for good again. Number two. Answers to your needs are tied up to them. When God wants to move you to a new level and relationship, He would put new people in place to meet your needs. But when you were in a relationship with people and disagreement led to parting ways, and God still wants you, people, to be together and wants to bring the other person back into your life, He won't put new people to help attend to your needs or give you answers, things would still be tied to the former person you were together with. This is a sign to let you know you both are not done being together, and He still wants you both working together. You both have not achieved all He wants to be achieved, and He wants to bring that person back again. It is not time to start looking for others to form a new path. It is not time to start changing everything again. Accept this thing that God wants to do. Accept this work God wants to carry out. Spent time in trying to make amend in what caused the breakup initially. Take out time to learn how to become a better you when they person comes back. If it was your fault that the relationship had issues, learn from your mistakes and see how to not go down again. You knew the person before. You knew his likes and dislikes. Try to learn how to do better. Work on yourself to not give room or space for the devil to sow discord again. Learn how to relate again. Learn how to work together again. Don't keep thinking about who was at fault and how you were hurt. God has, wants to heal the wound. You both must work again, so see to it that you both can follow together again. Number three, they want to come back. Another sign to know that God wants to lead that person back into your life is that you begin to see moves by them for a comeback. They acknowledge they failed and want things to be resolved so that you people can come back to the page again. They show interest in reconciliation and reunion. They have ignored what brought the fight and want to begin again with you. When people leave and you see that they have moved on, God has made those ones to go, 
But when you observe that they have also been tied up and looking for ways and means to reconnect and reconcile with you, know that this is a sign from God that you people need to come back together. You people have not finished the task he gave you, and he wants to bring that person back so that you both would continue. You have been made for each other. Your path was forged together. Your purpose was aligned together, and great shall be the result you both would produce, and God doesn't want the union to end. Disagreement has brought setback, but God wants to do a fix. He wants to reconcile you together again. Number four, there is peace and satisfaction when you people speak. There would be peace when you reach out to hear from that person again. This is another sign for you to realize that God still wants you both back, together and working, and he wants to bring that person back to your life. Peace is a sign God uses to show his presence in a place you would feel that peace, such that he gives when you feel down and reach out to hear from them. Peace is a sign to continue. It is a sign to create a room. It's a sign to accommodate again. Don't close up. Don't ignore this signs. Don't create a block. Keep reaching out. Keep praying. Keep learning. Keep making progress. God would do it his way, and you would happy that he brought you both back again to continue running together. God is faithful. He knows the need for relationship. He is the author of relationship. He knows we are not perfect and might err each other, but he is always there to reconcile us when we disagree. He wants our relationship to last because he knows we can't do something alone. Ensure you are in the right relationship, and when breakup happens, seek for his mercy and help. He would bring you people back again. He would do a quick fix and things would get better again. You won't be stranded. You won't be left alone. It would work out again and he would do it. Celebrate.